Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. This is Dr. Ayanshala Ogundele. Lunar South Pole Exploration, the new frontier of lunar exploration. The focus points of my presentation are as follows. Lunar South Pole Exploration, scientific objectives of lunar South Pole Exploration, past and present achievement of lunar South Pole Exploration, and importance of lunar South Pole exploration on human space exploration. Over the past half a century, the space age started and has led to various space-faring nations sending satellites into orbit, humans living and working in space stations, and development of various missions to explore deep space. Over the next few decades, humans are mapping out strategies to occupy the moon and extract its natural resources. To achieve this, the lunar South Pole, perceived to contain water ice and various in-situ resources, is being focused on for exploration. Behind the surge of interest in exploring the lunar South Pole are various scientific objectives, such as scientific advancement, investigation of the abundant natural resources, investigation of possible availability of water, Preparation for future human exploration of the moon, in-situ resource utilization, and understanding of solar system origin. Lunar South Pole exploration will help to characterize accessible resources, gather scientific research data, and analyze potential reserves to satisfy science and technology objectives and enable use of resources on successive missions. Presently, Various lunar south pole exploration missions are investigating lunar south pole so as to study plume surface interactions, radio astronomy, and space weather interactions with the lunar surface, and to demonstrate precision landing technologies and communication and navigation node capabilities. Exploring lunar south pole will help to advance understanding of our biology response to the environments of the moon, mass, and deep space to advance fundamental knowledge, support safe, productive human space missions, and reduce risks for future exploration. Lunar South Pole Exploration Over the years, Lunar South Pole Exploration has been receiving high interest based on it being a possible future location for a human outpost and abundant natural resources abound in the region. Lunar South Pole is being regarded as the new frontiers for lunar exploration missions. At this concept of NASA's volatile investigating polar exploration rover in lunar surface is shown in this picture. Various lunar missions at the explored lunar South Pole region are presently exploring it and are also planned to explore it in the future. The polar regions have been observed by SS Smart One, India Strandrayan, and Japan's Kaguya spacecraft. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is still exploring the lunar South Pole region. Chandrayaan 3 prime landing site in the South Polar region near the bottom right of the moon as seen from the Earth is shown in this picture. Research findings show that the moon takes about 30 days to make a complete rotation, unlike the Earth that turns on its axis every 24 hours. This implies that days and nights on the moon last two weeks. Solar power is of high importance for successful operation of lunar lander instruments. Lunar South Pole at the center of the image, situated on the rim of Sarkoton crater and created by Lunar Reconnaissance Orbital is shown in this picture. Since the lunar polar regions experience extended periods of sunlight and the sun remains very close to the horizon throughout the year, the designers of lunar South Pole exploration missions usually plan lunar landers to touch them on high ground such as a crater's rim. Locating lunar landers on high ground enables spacecraft not to be cut off from solar power and communication with the Earth by the surrounding terrain. 
Visualization of Sakuten crater with lunar sad pole is shown in this picture. Scientific objectives of lunar sad pole exploration. Various scientific objectives and resonates are behind the surge of interest in exploring lunar sad pole, and some of them are scientific advancement, investigation of the abundant natural resources, investigation of possible availability of water, preparation for human exploration of the moon, institute resource utilization, and understanding of solar system origin. Illustration of Fiper Rover on the moon is shown in this picture. Lunar Satpo offers opportunities for science and exploration. Recent orbiting missions have shown that lunar sat poles may contain water and it is believed that solar wind particles are trapped there. The water and volatile chemicals hold information on the history and chemistry of the inner solar system and it could provide resources for future exploration. Artemis 1 mission trajectory is shown in this picture. The complex interaction of radiation, illumination, plasma and dust found at the lunar sat poles will allow lunar lander to work as a laboratory for dust plasma physics, providing insight into fundamental processes on all ALS bodies such as the moon, mercury and asteroids. Understanding the dusty environment and its effects is important for future exploration missions. An artist's concept of the blessed lunar lander on the moon is shown in this picture. The water and volatile chemicals hold information on the history and chemistry of the inner solar system and could provide resources for future exploration. Measurements made by lunar lander on the lunar side poles and lunar surface will confirm measurements made from orbit. Lunar side pole exploration we have to characterize accessible resources, gather scientific research data, and analyze potential reserves to satisfy science and technology objectives and enable use of resources on successive missions. Illustration of the Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment is shown in this picture. Solar System Origin Exploring the lunar South Pole we help to uncover solar system origin and early history by determining how and when planetary bodies were formed and differentiated, characterizing the impact chronology of the inner solar system as recorded on the moon and Mars, and characterize how impact rates in the inner solar system have changed over time as recorded on the moon and Mars. Chandra 2, India's first mission to attempt a moon landing is shown in this picture. Understanding of space weather. Another scientific objective of lunar South Pole exploration is to help in understanding of space weather phenomena so as to enable in NASA observation and prediction of the dynamic environment of the moon and cislunar space. The history of the Sun and Solar System as recorded in the Lunar and Matayan Regolith will become understood by the humans. Orion and European Service Module orbiting the Moon is shown in this picture. Improved understanding of magnitude and pristine solar wind dynamics in the vicinity of the Moon and around Mars is another objective. Advancing of the geology processes which affect planetary bodies by determining the interior structures, characterizing the magmatic histories, characterizing ancient, modern, and evolution of atmosphere exospheres, and investigating how active processes modify the surface of the moon and Mars. Arctic's depiction of the largest spacecraft in orbit is shown in this picture. Past, present, and future of lunar South Pole exploration. Various events took place in the past, are taking place in the present, and also will be taking place in the future on lunar South Pole exploration. In the past, various lunar South Pole exploration missions had been sent to the lunar South Pole. Collection of data to compile the compositional and gravity maps of the moon 
Determination of the existence of water ice in the permanently saddle crater at the Monsard Pole, and investigation of whether the lunar swirl in saddle craters is rich in useful materials are some of the past events' achievements. Bush Adrian that walked on the moon with Neil Armstrong is shown on this picture. In the present, Federal Lunar Sat Pole Explorers missions are investigating Lunar Sat Pole. And present event goals are to study plume surface interactions, radio astronomy, and space weather interactions with the lunar surface, to demonstrate precision landing technologies and communication and navigation node capabilities. At Rice, iconic 1968 image from Apollo 8, taken by astronaut William Anders, is shown in this picture. Various lunar South Pole exploration missions are also lined up for investigation of lunar South Pole in the future. And the future event goals are to study plume surface interactions, radio astronomy, and space weather interactions with the lunar surface to demonstrate precision landing technologies and communication and navigation node capabilities. NASA's Space Launch System rocket carrying Orion spacecraft is shown in this picture. Importance of Lunar South Pole Exploration or Human Space Exploration Exploring Lunar South Pole will help to advance understanding of how biology responds to the environments of the Moon, Mars, and this space, so as to advance fundamental knowledge, support safe, productive human space missions, and reduce risks for future exploration. Investigation of the effects of short and long duration exposure to the environment of the Moon by humans will help to prepare for future moon explorers. NASA's Orion spacecraft plan to take astronauts from the Earth to the moon and return them back as part of the Artemis mission is shown in this picture. It will help to characterize and evaluate how the interaction of exploration systems and the deep space environment affect human health, performance, and space human factors to inform future exploration class missions. Using a gradual build-up approach, lunar South Pole exploration missions have been undertaken to demonstrate technologies and operations that will help astronauts to live and work on the, on the moon. At this rendering of the lunar crater observation and sensing satellite is shown in this picture. Crew Earth. Lunar South Pole exploration will help to validate readiness of systems and operations to support crew Earth and performance. Demonstrate the capability of integrated robotic systems so as to support the work of crew members on the moon surface and cis lunar orbit. Orion spacecraft moving towards the moon is shown in this picture. For more information, contact Astronautic for Export. You've been watching and listening to Lunar South Pole Exploration, the new frontier of lunar exploration, presented by Dr. Ayanshola Ogundele, with the focal point, Lunar South Pole Exploration, scientific objectives of Lunar South Pole Exploration, past and present achievement of Lunar South Pole Exploration, and importance of Lunar South Pole Exploration on human space exploration. Thank you.